squad. It's Tina Queen underscore 15, AKA Miss Bad and Bougie. Let's cut right into it. I get a lot of questions on how do I stay fit and how y'all get the booty. Everybody wants it. It all comes from the gym. So I am going to take y'all to the man who molds my body and keep me in shape and got this booty fat. I'm gonna go with my friend Danielle. We are gonna go, you're gonna meet him, and you're gonna see what I do. So why tell y'all when I can show y'all? Stay right here. I a thing in the jeans, but it don't pay. You got a fat ass, damn fuck. I a thing in the jeans, but it don't pay. Y'all remember her from the first video? That's sis right here. She's gonna help me record. Yes, sir. Uh, we finally made it. We're in Shelton, Connecticut. This is where he likes to work out. This is where he trained everybody. So you guys gonna watch me get fat and thick. No, I'm kidding. To be honest, I feel like this part is the pre-workout. All these stairs to get to the gym. Finally made it to the gym. I'm here with my trainer. I'm gonna let him go ahead and introduce himself. Hey, what's up? My name is LB. Uh, I've been training for about a little over two years now. I've been working with Tina for maybe two months. So what we got today, I'm gonna just show y'all some movements that you could do if you're trying to lift the booty, build your booty, and do some hip stuff too, if you're trying to curve those hips out, and just overall leg development. All right, let's get it started. The first movement, ladies, that we're gonna do is called hip thrust. The band that she has on, it's different than the bands you might see more times, the ones that like are really stretchy, sometimes they roll up. This I can guarantee won't move anywhere. The point of having this on is to get her hips engaged in the movement. If you do those hip abductions, which is just sitting on the machine and where your legs go in and out, this is kind of like simulating that all while we're working the glutes. You take a barbell or you can use a dumbbell. I'm gonna put this across her lap. Spread your feet a little wider to help that band engage your hips. She's gonna go down, look at the floor. When she comes up, look at the ceiling. Spread your feet a little wider. Squeeze over the top for two seconds, and then back down. And in terms of reps, how many reps should you be doing? No less than 12, unless you're going really heavy, then maybe around like eight. But you wanna go maybe 12 to 20 reps, high reps to get those glutes burning. This band on, she's feeling this in her hips as well as her glutes. Good. What we're gonna do now is straight leg kickback. The movement before with the hip thrust, you saw that we had the band that was different than this one. These I recommend using more for the kickbacks because they're a little bit more stretchy and then I'll show you and Tina how to do these and then have, not have the band go flying. If you're not doing these and you're trying to build a butt, I'm not really sure what you're doing because these are crucial. Tina's gonna put this on right above your knees and you want to put the band on the top of the knee on the side that you're not doing the kickback with. So as you can see, she had her ankle weights on too. And we're going to do the straight leg one. So put it on the right knee and we're going to start kicking back on the left side. So keep your core tight the whole time you're doing this and then kick back with a straight leg. Good. And then up. Good. Yep, that's perfect. So if you notice, the band doesn't go flying because her knee is on top of the band, allowing her to get her leg up as straight as possible. And if she doesn't say it, her booty is on fire right now. It hurts. And keep your core tight. This is a staple in like building the butt, lifting the butt. If you're not doing these, you very well should be. And then in rep range, how many should you do? No less than 15. These you want to keep high rep. It's good because we have resistance with the band as well as a weighted ankle weight. You can get those on Amazon too. <laughs> Movement number three is called fire hydrants. If you're trying to get curvier hips, you want to work your hips a little bit more, you're trying to work on that side booty. Again, she's got the band on and the ankle weight still. So we're gonna start with those fire hydrants. Team, you're gonna get down like you just were, doing those kickbacks. And literally it's called fire hydrant. For a joke as if it's a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. She's literally gonna lift her leg out and down. Out and down. 
holding it for about a second and then back down. Working all of her hips over here as well as her side glutes as well. Out and down. Out and down. And the key here really is to keep your core tight and control the weight and control the movement. Don't let it control you. Good. Rep range, same thing. No less than 12. Maybe around 15. If you want to go to 20 to really get a burn, you can. One more. And good. Movement number four is a donkey kickback. Earlier we did straight legs. There's variations in like the kickbacks that you can do. Really you want to do all of them to hit all angles of your glutes. So Tina's going to get down again. That band, put it on the knee, the top of the knee that's not moving. And then instead of her leg going straight, she's going to bend it and kick it back. It's called a donkey kickback. Straight up. Yup. So put it for a second at the top. Don't rush through the movement. Up. Squeeze. Building your booty, lifting your booty, getting curvy your hips is all about the squeeze and it's all about the tension that you have. She's holding it up for about a second or two and then back down. Rep range, same thing, maybe 12 to 15, 20 if you really want to burn. Maybe two more, two more. Good. One more. One more. Up. Good. So the fifth movement that you definitely should be doing on your leg days, if you're trying to build your glutes, your quads, your hamstrings, it's barbell squats. As you can see, we put back on the band that really doesn't stretch too much. We want to engage her hips in the movements. Really, throughout your, your whole leg day, your whole workout, you don't really want to take a band off. You should have a band on at all times just because it's going to help engage your hips and your glutes some more. So let's get it. So the key here is you want to put all the weight on the back of your feet, on your heels. So you're going to lift it, spread your feet, not too wide, but enough that you start to feel that band start to resist. Break at your hips and sit back on your heels. Good, come up, squeeze in the glutes, good. Sit, come up, squeeze in the glutes. Ladies, when you're doing this, fellas, when you're doing this, get as low as you possibly can. Keep your core tight. Sit, come up, squeeze in the glutes, good. For now, we just got the barbell because this is a warm up set, but you want to add enough weight on that bar that's challenging for you. Another key, breathing. Inhale when you go down, exhale when you come up. Inhale, exhale. Let's do two more, come on. Get low, come up, squeeze in the glutes, good. One more, good, walk up. And just like that, you made it through your first workout. You gotta get a booty! Ah. This is honestly the best way to round your booty, especially if you're trying to grow on and be you to the gym. Honestly, get some, get some meat on you. But you gotta eat healthy, he tells you all the time. You have to eat healthy. If you think that you're going to get the body that you want to get and you're just going to eat whatever the hell you want, that's not the way it works. It's 80% healthy eating, 20% workouts. But to me, it's like, look, you got to lock in on your diet. Stay in the crib, eat healthy, work out at least four days a week, stop making excuses. And if you're in the Connecticut area, you want to train her, come rock with me. I'm affordable. Or if you're not local, I make meal plans and workout plans. So come get right. Bye.